Hi everybody and welcome to Tosso Show. And today we are going to play... Yes, you hear right and you see right. We're going to play The Secret of Monkey Island. And it will be the special edition version wow. that is available on the PlayStation Now. Why I decided to do that video about The Secret of Monkey Island? It's because you may have heard about it, but a new version of the game will come out. A new game of Monkey Island will come out and done by Ron Gilbert himself, which is super exciting. I think it's named The Return of Monkey Island? I think it is, yeah. And apparently it's going to come out in 2022. And I'm doing that video on April 5th of 2022. If you see that earlier, or if you see that later, you're probably not going to see that earlier. <laughs> Unless you're a magician, you know. But I'm very, very excited about it. That version, The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition, I did play it once, actually on PlayStation Now as well, to do some kind of video about it, like a no commentary video that I wanted to use for games I finished. <laughs> videos so like that with some kind of gameplay on it uh, but it never happened <laughs> so i need to do that eventually but that being said the secret of monkey island is one of those games that i just loved at the time when i was a young kid that was one of those games that you play and you found that so cool that's a game that you can never die on and that's really really cool okay subtitles is on so it should be good you can see that there's two versions because, technically speaking, you can still play the classic edition of a game. And I'm going to show that to you eventually. You can see here that you can play with a controller, which is super weird to me because I never played point and click games with controllers before. <coughs> Sorry. But it's possible. You can see that you have to press the L2 button to go bring up some of the stuff to actually do an action. It's it's interesting. L2, R2. I'm going pretty fast here so like that you can still see a little bit of this, but I don't know if the game is actually explaining it to you or if it doesn't. Because, you know, it's supposed to be a retro game, so generally <laughs> they don't explain anything on those kind of game before. And now you can see that there's even a hint system, which did not exist before. Uh, okay, that may be a better way to see things. But here, what we're going to love about this is the select button. The switch between the special and classic mode, and we're going to do it. We're going to do it so like that you can see. Let's play a new game. And yet it's surprising that LucasArt is not actually promoting this game now again with Return of the Monkey Island being there. Anyway, I don't know if they have the rights anymore on Monkey Island. That, that would be interesting to know. But here we are on the island of Melee, Melee Island. And we're going to play The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. I'm so, so, so excited. It's such a great game. It's funny. You don't die on this game. I think Rod Gilbert and Dev Brotman and, and Tim Schafer did an amazing job. I think the next one, the sequel, is actually the best. But we can talk about that. The music is from Michael Zealand. I was such a fan about that game. It's like Final Fantasy IV that Maybe you'll see that I did a video about Final Fantasy before, before. But it's just this kind of game that comes from my childhood, so I always have such fond memories about them. And Monkey Island is just funny. I think it's funny, I think it's original. I think it makes fun of a lot of things that I didn't realize before when I was young about some of the things that it was said. And that's what's always great about this kind of game. It's funny as a kid, but you realize that it's also funny as an adult. And yeah, we'll see where it goes. I'm very curious to play it in front of you and hopefully I'm special enough to to find all the far-fetched puzzles that you have in that game. My name game. is Guybrush <laughs> and I want to be a pirate. Yes, Guybrush Threepwood. I want to be a pirate, Don't too. Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, 
I'm over this way. So you can see that there's even voice in all that. Well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. <laughs> but if you're serious about pirating, go talk to uh, definitely leaders. doesn't look like a pirate. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll I love the fact that we named the bar the scum bar. I'm off to seek my because fortune. Scum is actually the Good interface luck. name that you have on every single because that's game um, at the time. It's named Scum C U uh, S C U M M. Right. Thanks. So it's like a little nod to their own inventions. Part one, the free trials. And here we go, here we are in the game. I know that that special edition has a very different style than the original and I can show it to you by pressing select. And here you can see the scum in his original form. So I can go to the governor Marley. Uh, Re-elect governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice and that's definitely true. <laughs> Because there's not much choices, right? At, at, at that level, what's the point to actually vote, right? It's like a dictatorship. Anyway, you can see the original game and let's move to the new version. Guy, Guybrush looks so weird in this game. I think we did a better job on the second one that we're gonna play as well, uh, by the way. Let's go back to that Governor Marley. You can see that I need to press not R2, I need to press L2, say look at, and then you can see that now I have a look at command and I can look at the we poster. Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. It's great for that we did like all the stuff, like we, we have all the characters having voices and all that. It's incredible. Oh, look at, you can use a, in order to make it easy, you can actually use the circle button. Re-elect Governor Marley. Oh, I cannot when skip. there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Oh, old triangle to skip. Never mind. I can't skip. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go back see that guy that explained to us that we need to go to the scum bar. So we're gonna go to the cliffside. So you can see the usual, you have multiple answers. You can go to each of them one by one, by the way. Most of the time you can, there's no problem. Where some games sometimes, when you select something, it doesn't allow you to go back to some of the other elements that there is. In this one, I think there's not that much of that problem. But anyway, let's, uh, let's pick up one of those. Do you ever wonder if we are all just characters in a novel? <laughs> what a question. Do you ever wonder if we're all just characters in a novel? Not in a novel, in an adventure Yikes! game. Point and clean. Oh, you almost scared me to death! I thought you were a... Oh, never mind. Hey, what did you say your name was again? I completely skipped the question. <laughs> I'm over, uh, this, I'm over way. this way. Huh? Oh. Uh, let's see actually if what I said is true. I'm gonna say I'm Gab Guybrush Free Prude. Let's see if we can still do the other I'm one. I'm Guybrush Free Wood. I came to Melee Island because I want to be a I love pirate. a Melee Island trademark. Well, you picked the right place for it. <laughs> Though perhaps the wrong time. <laughs> Not to mention the wrong name. <laughs> you have the silliest name I've heard in a long time. Silliest? But everybody can remember about it. Guybrush Free Prude. I've troubled to say Free Prude because of my French accent. In French, you would say Guybrush Free Prude. Oh, uh, Guy. You don't say Guy, you say Guy. Which, uh, but anyway. Okay, call me Squinky then. Call me Squinky. <laughs> you just said you were a gibberish driftwood. <laughs> gibberish driftwood. Guy brush three wood. Sure, or whatever. It's funny, it saves quite often. Okay, who is he? Who are you? 
I'm the lookout of Melee Island. I watch the ocean for approaching storms and ships, and report them directly to the governor. She doesn't like unexpected visitors, especially uh -huh. not now. What's good? What's happening now? <laughs> How did you get to look out when you're obviously blind as a bat? How did you get to be the lookout when you're obviously blind as a bat? Watch your tongue. I was handpicked by Sheriff Shinetop. Huh. Well, no, I'm not going to spoil. Okay, let's go to that next one. Why is the governor worried about unexpected visitors? Why is the governor worried about unexpected visitors? Actually, it's the expected visitors we're worried about. One pirate captain in particular. Uh -oh. A dead one, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous. A dead one. I'll just be off to seek my fortune now. Good luck! Thank you. First, we're gonna go to the world map by going here. Walk to Bath. Just to show you a little bit of the world map. Here's Melee Island world map, and I can go to different places, as you can see. Like most button allow you to go to different places. Uh, uh, I have trouble going to this one. Okay, let's go to island here. Just to show you quickly an example of all of that. I cannot make him go faster. <laughs> Island. Gaudy, but in a cheerful sort of way. But I cannot go to Go Island. Uh, to Hook Island, sorry. Hmm. I think it could support my weight. Okay, let's go walk uh, the pool. Can we. Hmm. Can we use cable? Okay, you have to use it with something. <laughs> but you see, the system of the game is pretty straightforward. You will have items in your inventories that you pick up depending on what you pick. Or you have different action that you can potentially do. Let's go back to the village. And within those actions, you can decide what to do. If you want to talk with somebody, you can talk with somebody. If you want to give an object to somebody, you can give an object to somebody. That's the way that you interact with this game. I hope that I can get some of this little stuff done before it's too late. We've already been doing that for 13 minutes. Things are going so fast. Okay, here's the scum bar, so let's go to the scum bar and discover how we can become a pirate. Nope. That's what I wanted to do. Because what you're gonna do is that you're gonna go, uh, go talk to these pirates that is here for that iconic scene. Ahoy there, stranger. New in town. My name's Guybrush Freeprude. I'm new in town. Guybrush Freeprude? Ha 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 That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Isn't that cute? The way that we did was designed like in the past. I don't know, I kind of like Guy Brush. Well, what's your name? Yeah, it's pretty dumb, isn't it? Okay, well, what's your name? This is this one. Well, what's your name? My name is Man Cop Sipgood. <laughs> so, what bring you to Melee Island anyway? Well, I want to be a pirate, of course. I want to be a pirate. Oh, really? You should go talk to the important looking pirates in the next room. They are pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Where can I find the governor? Where can I find the governor? Governor Marley? 
No mention is on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. Why not? Well, the last time she had a pirate over for dinner, he fell in love with her. It made things rather uncomfortable for everybody. Who is this pirate? It was none other than the fearsome pirate Lutcher. Well, there's a whole big story about what happened next, but I don't believe a word of it. Esteban over there at the other table might tell you about it. He takes the whole thing seriously. Very seriously. Uh oh, it looks like my grog is going flat, so you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. I guess he doesn't have the iconic scenes that I thought he had. I swear there's one scene that talks about Loom. Loom, which is another game from Look at that. Let's go back to. Uh, I keep missing the wrong. Let's go back to this version. I don't want to come between a pirate and his grog. Okay, I guess. Let's see if there's another pirate. That, uh, maybe this one was the one. What are you looking at me for? With a scary eye. Okay, can you tell me the story about this Lechuk guy? Can you tell guy? me the story about this Lechuk guy? Lechuk. He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. <laughs> he fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he dropped dead. So he did. <laughs> and then things really got ugly. How did things get ugly? Yeah, how did it? Chuck was a fearsome pirate. He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island. Let's find the secret of Monkey Island. Sank his ship, leaving no survivors. We thought that that was the end of the fearsome pirate, the Chuck. We were wrong. All right, so the questions that we all want to understand, to know about. For years and years and years, when that, when Monkey, Island, when that whole franchise was done, what is the secret of Monkey Island? What is the secret of Monkey Island? Only the Chuck knows. He <laughs> still sails the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. So the Chuck became a ghost. Here and not a pirate. <laughs> I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah? So what? <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard? We don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. I'm sure you ever wanted to have a report accident, unfortunately. Where can I get a drink? A drink? You could wait for the cook to notice you. Nah. But that would take all day. Just find the mug and sneak into the kitchen. That is what we all do. <laughs> Look, uh, this whole lechuck thing has me pretty shaken up. So, uh, if you don't mind. Ah, I cannot talk to you. Shook up. Ah, it's... I better leave him alone. Alright, so I was completely wrong. Yeah, There's a lot of choices <laughs> in this game that don't allow you oh, then to. Oh, ask me about Loom. That's the Loom guy. Tell me about Loom. So, tell me about Loom. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary right. adventure with an interface of magic. I'm gonna do a spoiler alert. High resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score, and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects. Jeez, what a marketing and speech. And control of characters, objects, and magic <laughs> spells. <laughs> Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. <laughs> I love the fact that it's that. Jeez, that's an obvious sales pitch. 
but okay, I'm gonna say this and maybe a lot of people will not like it. I actually played Loom and even though it's a great It's a great law and this there seems to be some great law and some interesting gameplay mechanism, I'll say it this way, because it's a bit different from a classic point and click. Although you cannot die, like any LucasArts game, you cannot die, which is amazing. I think it's better than, you know, dying because you did a silly thing, like in a certain other game from another company, we should not mention the name, at least on this <laughs> video. <laughs> anyway, um, that being said, <laughs> Loom was a bit disappointing to me. I think that the story is unfinished and it really feels like that. Like the more you progress in the game and the more you see that there's something missing. And there's a whole there's a whole law and story that was supposed to be done that we couldn't do in that first game. But then it was never continued and that makes that makes things a bit disappointing to me. But otherwise it was a pretty it was decent, I guess. Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. Sorry, but yeah, I did the opposite of a sales pitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice hat. Bye. But yes, yeah, st still play Loom. Loom is not Bye. necessarily that bad. It's nice just, it's just that it was Bye. very disappointing to me because it seems that it was missing a lot of things. Alright, here's our friend from the scum bar of free pirates that... Ah, oh, I keep messing it up. Our free pirates that we're supposed to talk to, but first, before we do that, let's hey, try to go to the kitchen. You can't come back here! Okay, I need some people to... Okay, let's go talk to those important looking pirates. I mean to kill you all. I'm wondering what they're gonna say. I mean to kill you all. I'll get lost, boy. You bother us. <laughs> hey! Oh. Don't go into the kitchen. I think I'm gonna follow you all there. You got it wrong, dude. Okay. Ah. Let's hurry up, let's hurry up, let's hurry up. So let's pick up that meat. I think that bird will peck my hand off. Of course, because you went too slow and the seagull. It's boiling hot. I think it's full of that foul stuff pirates drink. I can't pick that. <laughs> I wanted to see if the system would be stupid enough to let me. Okay, let's talk to the pirates now. But you see, I just picked up that meat. I want to be a fireman. I want to be a fireman. I get lost, boy. You bother us. Oh, it's kind of disappointing that they don't say something a little bit more special. Anyway, I want to be a pirate. pirate. So, why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole Lake Chuck thing. So, so, no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting <laughs> dangerously low on grog. Of course, it's sort of about their grog. <laughs> Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Which is true, and will be very important for well, some part of the game. <laughs> all right. But you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the free trials. The free trials. Uh, and those trials are so fun. You see, that's why the game is so cool. That those free trials are very silly and fun. You must master the sword. And the art of thievery. And the quest. What? <laughs> Treasure hunting, you see, urchin. I may say, well, this looks pretty normal quest. Each of these three areas. 
swordplay, thievery, and the, the treasure huntery. <laughs> then return with proof that you've done it. All right. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! <laughs> huh? All right, let's talk about the mastery of sword first. Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get here your sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Yep. Because you have to go through forests. That... Find somebody to train you first. Yeah, and that too. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword master without any training. <laughs> All right, the art of thievery. What do we well, thievery? We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands in the governor's mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside the town. Uh oh, we're gonna go there then. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Hey, they're a particularly vicious man. They might be able to drug him or something. Oh, we give a huge clue. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about the treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee and bring it back here. Alright. Should I have a map or something? Well, you can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget! <laughs> Marks the spot. Of course. <laughs> okay, let's let's ask that essential question. What's in the grog? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following: kerosene, <laughs> propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, <laughs> lum. Acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, uh. and or pepperoni. Oh. As you can probably imagine, <laughs> it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. I bet. The stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's get going. Now. It's already been 28 minutes. So. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. I'm a very huge fan of point and click at the time. There's so many good games that were done as point and click. Like Simon the Sorcerer is one of them. Gabriel Knight is another meanwhile, one of them. Oh, meanwhile, what's going on? Oh, we see Lechuk. Beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate Lechuk ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Is Lechuk? Ah, oh, it's really cool. We allow you to change uh, in mid air. Oh, that's really good. Oh, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Uh-oh. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship that murdered me and everyone I <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad oh. to hear it. <laughs> now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. How does he know that? He's super far. What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well... It's there a new seems to be a new town. pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, <laughs> probably nothing to worry about. Don't know 
why I bother you with it. <laughs> I've been taking care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. All right. Yes, sir. And yes, most of this is basically the intro of a game. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the world map. Show you a little bit of the other environment. I'm not gonna go to the town. Although it would have been good to go to the town and get the, the fake chicken, but... Let's go to the clearing over there. So this is the circus, and on that circus I think there's some things that you can get that would be important, if I remember properly. Let's see. I get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. <laughs> well, I can't do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, All right. you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. I guess we need somebody to go in the cannon. Stop. <laughs> Weasel. Weevil. Miscreant. Tony. Ne'er do well. Uh -huh. um. Say there, son, how do you like the chance? A once in a lifetime a chance to perform an amazing feat. A death defying feat. Well, not so death defying, really. Uh, dangerous feat. No, <laughs> not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic. And exceedingly well known. Fabulous. Flying Ferrucini brothers. That's all right, the Ferrucini brothers. <laughs> and my brother Bill. Sound good. Obviously, oh, we had a little bit of an me. Italian accent. See that cannon over there? Molta buone, you, you know. <laughs> no. Is I guess cannon. that was stupid to say. And we we'll shoot you out of it. Across the room. Quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? How much would you How pay me? You pay How about 478 pieces of eight? Okay, sounds okay. good. <laughs> sounds good. Have you got a helmet? <laughs> uh, no, I don't have a helmet. Will I need one? No helmet? Oh, you've got to have a helmet. Can't do the cannon trick without a helmet. Yeah. No, sorry. Go get a helmet and then we can do the trick. Alright, I need to find back a way to get a helmet. Hmm. I'm trying to see what I can do, showing you some little stuff here and there. Oh, there's somebody walking. Oh, there's a bridge. Let's go to a bridge. Oh, there's a fork here. What's happening at the fork? I'm curious. Ah, oh, there's a forest. Okay, there's flowers. Let's look at them. My, what an unusually bright yellow they are. Well, they're bright yellow, so why don't we pick them up? Okay, we picked some. Let's go there. I'm not going into this maze-like forest without a map or a guide or something. Alright, we're not gonna go to this maze-like forest. Let's go to the bridge. Oh, 
Oh, it's a troll. Stop! You must pay a toll. How much is the How toll? How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? <laughs> I'm sorry. Some semi rancid Some semi rancid meat? Rancid. Okay. I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. Hmm. A <laughs> rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Don't be silly. You have three chances to give me what I want. Then I eat ya. You can't pass until you pay the toll. But I'm Stand a aside, troll. Spot. I'm a mighty pirate. <laughs> You're no pirate. While well, the town drunk could out insult you on his back. Well, <laughs> probably would. I can out insult anybody. I okay, can out insult that. anybody, you brainless clay doppelganger. <laughs> I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Take that and stick it in your repertoire. You can't pass until you pay the toll. So we'd have to pay a toll, but let's see. Look, Look behind, behind you, you, a mouse. I'm not falling for that. <laughs> Scuttle along, you scurvy sea slug. You can't pass until you pay the toll. Oh, please, can't I pass? <laughs> oh, boy, do you sound like a wimp. I don't like wimps. You can't pass until you pay the toll. Let's see. How much did you say the toll was? I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. All right, so we're gonna come back later. Let's go back to the village. There's a lot of things I didn't do on the village. So for example, there is one person that can help us understand how to go through the forest, for example. There's another thing where you can get a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. <laughs> I'm not gonna say why it's used, what it's used that will be for, because if you want to play that game, I just want to make sure that you don't know what you can do overall. Otherwise, it's kind of like cheating, you know? I'm not doing a playthrough after all. And we anyway, have that guy that always try to sell you some maps. I'm surprised they didn't say anything when I go through. Ah, oh, and those guys with the rats. It's very interesting to see the difference. Oh, I didn't realize here. They added that extra voodoo uh, mask thing here to tell you that it's actually the voodoo place. Yeah, let's look at the chicken. <laughs> a rubber chicken with a pudding in the middle. Yeah, exactly. What's the use of that? But we're gonna take it anyway, right? And that's where we're gonna stop. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to give a very brief overview game, uh, gameplay of The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition that is available on PlayStation Now. And don't forget, PlayStation Now will change to PS Plus Premium somewhere in June 2022. So it's allow you at least to see what used to be on PlayStation Now as well. <laughs> I'm so excited about the return of Monkey Island. I'll be such a fantastic return, I'm pretty sure. 
That being said, we're going to play the second game that is also available on PlayStation now, so that's why we're going to play it. Not now, but pretty soon. If you follow me. So maybe it's an incentive to let you follow me, right? Right, right? I need more subscribers, right? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much everyone. Toss out. Have a great day. Bye-bye.